fine so up to now we have worked we have worked on the Vue.js components these all things so we have learned about the axios how to make an http request the dummy calls and all those things we have did it right so i will give you so how to work with a real-time database so there are a lot of plenty of tools available in in the market so one of the thing which you can uh, work is the firebase so you can use this firebase so everything is free so this one is a google's one so type the firebase and here you will be able to see like this okay so with your uh, gmail id okay you can you can access with your gmail id it's not a problem now we after opening this firebase so login with the gmail id so automatically this one will be automatically logged in go to the console if you go to the console it will ask you some series of projects so already i have some of the projects so here you will be having only one one box that is nothing but an add a project so right now i already have a lot many projects so you will be having new only one thing one box will be there add a project so okay fine let's create, create click on this add a project so here i am trying to create a project so let's say that view view basics or something which whatever the name you want you can keep it already I have so many things so that is the reason so i am clicking on the continue so it will ask you some analytics reports and all those things so there is no need for these all things so here i can click on the create project so it is trying to create a project so back end it is trying to create it we can also deploy our project in the firebase also everything we can do it but that is the beyond the scope so we will try to use the database only and tomorrow when the application is completely ready it means we can deploy the application in this one so now we have created a project view basics or something like that right so you will be able to jump to this page okay this is the page you will try to jump it so here first you, there are so many lot lot of features will be available the cloud authentication these all things so authentication will try to see when we are dealing with the login registration those all things so performance increasing a b testing these are all the firebase features so you can see the see all firebase features we'll be having so first we need to have a database so we can go here here you will be able to see real time database so we can click on this real time database so if i click on this real time database so here it will ask you to create a database fine so we let's create a database it will ask you which uh, server we want it so you can select whatever it may be so for the first time we will be starting in the test mode so afterwards when the authentication everything is completed we will start with a locker mode locker mode means only the person who has an uh, authentication they know he he can only able to access the api so right now we first time we are doing right we will be accessing in the test mode so that means the data is open to everybody everybody who has the access to the api url can able to access this one so right now for the starting we will try to keep it like that one afterwards we can change it so start in test mode so it is trying to create a database so now it has created a database so this is our database right now the database entire thing is an empty so this database is not a relational database it is a non-relational database so that that one comes into the back end thing so we have two types of databases are uh, not two types so many databases are there different types hierarchical database relational database so key key value non-relational database that is nothing but non-relational database so now we will be using the non-relation database which we each right now in the modern world more often the people are using so now <clears throat> we have our database created so now right now nothing is there null is there so nothing the database nothing data is nothing is there in this one so let's start creating the database uh, sorry data so application so right now i will try to create a new application so let's go to the command prompt let's move into this one so i will create something like npm init view at the rate latest or something like this this, this is the only thing right my v button on. yeah l so now i am trying to create a new project let's create a new project it will ask you some series of questions let it ask so let's give some name 
UIFN thread operation. So project name it is not writing or what? Oh my god struck. So view UI fun crud. Okay, I am trying to give view UI fun crud. So let's take it. So I don't want these all the things. So these all things we'll try to do it. Okay. So now CD view UI fun crud. Let's move on to this one. And I am doing npm install. So I am installing everything. Let it install. Okay, let's go into the Visual Studio Code. So I am opening the Visual Studio Code. Now this is a Visual Studio Code. So now I have opened the Visual Studio Code, right? So let's here this is our source. So we have all these components. So we can remove these all components which we are not using right now. So we will create our own components. These are all welcome components. I can delete this one entire thing and in the app dot view let's go into the app dot view so here also we can de delete this all script thing template everything I can remove it it's taking so much of time yeah so let us delete these all things let's try to add it at the bottom so that it will be easy for us okay so here also i will remove this all the styles also so this is our project so i am trying to set up our project this is our template just i will add So just I will add basic thing. Let's go to the main.js. In the main.js, I will remove the CSS also. So fine. So let's go on to this app.view. Everything is fine. So here I will try to run npm run dev. Let's run the project. By the time we will install the bootstrap also. So CDNJ is bootstrap. I am trying to install it. Let's go to the CSS thing. I'm copying this one. So here in the index.html, I'll paste it directly here at the bottom. That's it. So now let's move on to this one now if i try to see the output 127 yeah. let's open this output it's still running or what it's, uh, it's running. so we are, yeah i'm able to see the hello world so now we have successfully created our new project now let's try to use this database use this database and let's try to create a project let's try to do the post thing so how we can do it with our real-time database so now what we have did so we have opened the firebase so whenever you want it you can you can open the firebase here so you can search it in the google so here you can open this firebase thing there might be slow so you can open this firebase and you can go to the console go to the console again i am showing you so you can open the console so you can click on this one okay you can click on this add project and all those things so right now i have already created it right i didn't i didn't remember what is that i have created so view posts i think let's see not this one view basics sir. okay view basics fine so this is the project we have created and afterwards you need to go to the build and you need to enable the option real time database so here you will be able to see what are the enabled features is there so here i am able to enable the real time database and this that in this real time database you need to click on the create database 
and this you need to start it in the test mode so now your pro your database will be created now we will make use of this database how we can make use of this database i will try to tell you one by one so we have created our new project so in this project we will try to do a sample demo so in this one we will try to do one by one 